Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily Bowie. I'm an engineer and producer here in Nashville, Tennessee. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at how you mix vocals to a stereo two-track beat. Here we go. Timestamps will be available for your convenience and for you to reference back to from time to time. But if you would like to help the channel out, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you found something helpful from this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know that you stopped by. I'd love to hear from you. All right, so enough chit chatting. Let's get into how to mix vocals to a two track beat. Here we go. So if you're getting into the mixing game, I'm sure you have come across some clients that have just sent you a two track with their vocals. And that might sound pretty easy, but it's actually a lot more difficult than actually having the multi-tracks or at least the stems to this. When working with just a two track, you have less control over that overall music. You can't just adjust the kick and just the snare or the hats or even the synths that you have going on throughout the entire mix. And somehow we've got to take those vocals and merge it with that two track so that it doesn't just sound like we're capturing a karaoke recording. So what I thought we would do today is just kind of go over how I've actually merged this into my template to make things a little bit more simple and how to get that vocal to work with the two track and have the music still feel like it's hugging the vocal and not just surfing on top of it. We'll play a little bit here. So here's what I've got as far as a complete mix on this particular song. I could have left you alone when you were with your man. Came into my bar where I worked with the plan. Started talking to me, told me, add you on that book. Added me on Snapchat that same day. Take a look. All right, so here is what it sounds like with the processing turned off. I could have left you alone when you were with your man. Came into my bar where I worked with the plan. Started talking to me, told me, add you on that book, added me on Snapchat. That same day, take a look. Pretty different, huh? So let's take a look and see what I did. Now, first, uh, just want to mention that I am running this through Sonarworks. That's just because this is how I work with my room treatment and also just making things as flat as possible um so if things sound a little bit different you know when when you watch these youtube videos and these tutorials it things are going to sound a little bit different because everybody is mixing in different environments and we're using corrective software you know so just keep that in mind but uh i think you know as far as what you're going to be hearing and the differences and the techniques and the little things that I'm doing here in uh, my processing, you know, you'll be able to uh, take something from that anyways. So the first thing that we've got going on here is our two track beat. Now this was produced, created, built by someone else. And I have learned that the majority of the time, that those producers, beat makers, don't want the mix engineer to alter anything that they've done, even when it is recommended. So it's really up to you to kind of balance that out and get it to a level that's going to work. And keep in mind to not change anything or alter the sound. So, even if the artist is telling you that certain little elements need to be pulled up, just tell them that they need to communicate that with the producer. Okay. So the first thing that I want to do is listen to this and it's pretty heavy on the bass. There's a lot of things going down here. So let's take a listen to this raw track. Now everything is going to be going through my mix bus here. 
Uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit later and see how that's changing our overall sound. But for right now, I just want to listen to this uh, going through the EQ. You can really tell by high passing that up even to 40. You might think, man, you're getting rid of a lot of that kind of heavy bass sound, but you're actually not. You're just getting rid of a lot of that unnecessary energy and tightening everything up and it's being focused on those frequencies that we do want to hear. And I do have just a slight boost. Uh, going around 83 and I think that was probably just to balance everything out with the uh, highs that was going on over here. The next thing that I wanted to do was actually just bring everything up. Not much but it's, we're bringing it up to a level that I'm liking and I'm always going to put a little bit of a ceiling on there. So let's see what this is doing overall. So not only is it bringing up the lows, it's also filling in on those synths a little bit, making everything a lot more present. Next to that, I have the multiband compressor here. This one's from Waves. And what I'm doing here is basically first thing is that I'm going to be carving out an area for the vocal to come through because I don't want the vocal to sit on top of the two track. I need the two track to hug the vocal. So I've got some compression going over here, around 250, uh, around 4K. That's a good area for a male rap vocal. So let's see what that's doing. What I'm noticing with that is by compressing that mid-range is it's actually kind of spreading things out because it's pushing that out so that we're hearing more information on the sides. And I'm controlling the lows just, just a little bit. Also controlling the highs because when we bring it up a little bit, those hi-hat sounds can get a little bit distracting and just, just taming those just a little bit. So now let's add the vocal in here. I could have left you alone when you were with your man Came into my bar where I worked with the plan Started talking to me, told me Add you on that book, added me on Snapchat That same day, take a look Now you're in my inbox, texting me every day When you were with your girls You see how that just, it just dips down just a little bit So that the vocal has a nice place to sit and it's just sort of like balancing out perfectly right there instead of just sitting on top and sounding kind of like it's poking out. I could have left you alone when you were with your man. Came into my bar where I worked with the plan. Started talking to me, told me. Add you on that book, added me on Snapchat. That same day, take a look. Now you're in my inbox, texting me every day. When you were with your girls in the city on vacay, didn't have any care in the world about your man. It just flows so much better by doing that. Now, if you are familiar with my mix templates, you'll know that I love parallel processing. And I have got the two track going through the drum bus here. Now, on another video, I had the drum crush in but I've decided that it's just a little bit too much. And this is gonna go on your own preference. And I'll let you hear what that sounds like with everything in here. So I have it without it right now. I could have left you alone, alone. when you were with your man. Your man. 
came into my bar where I worked with the plan start. And here is with the fatso in. I could have left you alone when you were with your man. Came into my bar where I worked with the plan. Started talking to me, told me, add you on that book. Added me on Snapchat that same day. Take a look. Now you're in my inbox, texting me every day. When you were with your girls in the city on vacation. It really, I mean, it, it adds something. It's, um, it's adding a lot more rumble down there. So I don't know. If it's the best choice, uh, it may sound good right now on, you know, nice big speakers, some nice headphones, but if this is something that I want to translate on a lot of different things and for a lot of different people, I don't know. Um, up to you. I think it just it adds a little bit too much rumble. So let's take a look at the vocals here. Let's start with the main vocals. First thing I'm going to do, listen to that see what it needs as far as EQ goes. Want to high pass that a little bit. And with this one, there was a little bit of nasalness in there. Well, let's take a listen to that. Let's go ahead and bypass all of these real quick. Never even listen to a word that you say. Said you wouldn't leave me, but left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. I can only see that you were meant for me. Had to lose everything to get what I need. So it just really opens the vocal up, gets rid of that nasal a little bit. He already has a little bit of a nasal sound to his vocal, and I think that's just part of the character of his tone. So just getting rid of the uncharacteristic type things. Next thing I wanted to do, because it does sound like there was a compressor that this was vocal was going through to record maybe a little bit um but there's just something that I, I feel like it needs a, a little bit more taming before it goes into the parallel processing tracks never even listen to a word that you say said you wouldn't leave me but left me anyway told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head i can only see that you were meant for me had to lose everything to get what i need just taming some of the peaky things, a little bit more uh, just control, just more focus on the vocal there. And doing the exact same thing to the other vocal. This is just in the other sections of the song. Now both of those are going through the parallel processing tracks that I have here with the Fatso, the 1073, and the 1176. If you're unfamiliar with this technique that I use, I will leave a link to that up here somewhere and also in the description so it'll be easy to find for you but I've got all that going through here and just setting these to whatever sounds the best now all three of these are then grouped to this one fader here so that we can make everything easier and then all that's going through the R box this is to bring things out a little bit more just to kind of fill up everything and have the vocal stand out and in the middle sounding like the main focus. So here's what it is without it. Never even listen to a word that you say. Said you wouldn't leave me, but left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. I can only see that you were meant for me. Had to lose everything to get what I need. It's just making the vocal sound a little bit more full and round. And we're not doing much because we were already kind of getting there with our parallel processing. But this is just kind of takes it a little bit further and just gives it that overall professional polish. Next thing we've got going on is just a de-esser. Never even listen to a word that you say. Said you wouldn't leave me but left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. You know, this was actually a pretty well recorded in that aspect because it didn't have, it wasn't doing too much. Uh, I know I've got it kind of pulled down a little bit more, but I'm really doing that just because of the overall style of music and wanting that not to, to sound so airy with the vocal. Now, the next thing that this is going through, this is also a parallel where it's going through the stereo out or the mix bus. 
and also to another vocal bus that's got parallel compression. And that is right here. This is adding back two dBs of compression with this setting, the transparent vocal. It's not doing a whole lot, but it is filling up some things. So let's take a look and see what that's doing. Have it in bypass first. Never even listen to a word that you say Said you wouldn't leave me but left me anyway Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head I can only see that you were meant for me Had to lose everything to get what I need Should have closed that door a long time ago Another lesson learned, I'll leave you alone So the needle not moving very much, not doing a whole lot, but the sound is there and it's just bringing up a little bit of character and a little bit of volume and just keeping everything right there where we need the vocal to be. I love parallel processing. It, it looks like it's not doing very much, but the sound, when you take those things away, man, like it changes the tone a lot. So let's see what that sounds like with and without all of the parallel processing here. Never even listen to a word that you say. Said you wouldn't leave me, but left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. I can only see that you were meant for me. Had to lose everything to get what I need. Should have closed that door a long time ago. Another lesson learned. I'll leave you alone. I could have left. Now, I also use a chamber track here that I put on just about everything, no matter what the style of music is. And so, yeah, I do have it on the two track here. Just a little bit. And that's just something that I like to use all together to go out through the same track here that to me helps glue everything together. And so here's what it sounds like without. Never even listen to a word that you say. Said you wouldn't leave me but left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. I can only see that you were meant for me. Had to lose everything to get what I need. Should have closed that door a long time ago. Another lesson learned, I'll leave you alone. So, yeah, there's a huge difference there if you're listening for it. It really does just makes it sound like a commercial record that you're used to hearing. Now, the next thing, it's kind of going to be up to your taste or what the client, what the producer wants. And that is your reverbs, your delays, uh, any of your vocal effects. And... I didn't get crazy with this one because this is something that I mixed a long time ago and uh, was told, you know, they didn't even really want it to be that wet. And so, of course, with this tutorial, I went ahead and just did it a little bit more, uh, something that was for my own taste, but also keeping in mind on what the client wanted and not having too wet of a vocal, not too crazy of uh, effects and uh, echoes and anything like that. So. What I did first was just add a plate to it. And I'll go ahead and mute all of these. So the first thing with the lead vocals, I've got the Abbey Road plate here. So here it is in bypassed. Never even listen to a word that you say. Said you wouldn't leave me but left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. I can only see that you were meant for me. Had to lose everything to get what I need. Should have closed that door a long time ago. So I just went through each of the plates here, and this one just sound the best with the song. Uh, that's how I like to find, you know, the effects that I'm looking for. They kind of just show themselves and just kind of getting a balance with the send and return here. It's very subtle stuff. You know, a lot of uh, doing a lot of these uh, subtle things can add up and once you find that mixture and it all works, it just really comes together nicely. Next thing I wanted to do is have a little bit of a slap on that. And I'm using the Echo Boy here, always a good one. Here's without. Never even listen to a word that you say 
said you wouldn't leave me but left me anyway Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head I can only see that you were meant for me Had to lose everything to get what I need to And then of course we're going to the chamber Now with this song with the background vocals here I know we haven't talked about those yet um, sort of the ad-libs that are going on. I'm basically doing the same exact thing. Uh, didn't really concentrate too much on the EQ. Just wanted to get rid of some of that lower information. And then I think this is the same setting for the lead vocals on the compression there. And I wanted to use a little bit of a different plate here. This one is going to the EMT 140. But left me anyway Told me all your lies And put thoughts in my head I can only see That you were meant for me Had to lose everything To get what I need Should've closed that door A long time ago Another lesson learned yeah. I'll leave you alone So with this song It's a little bit of a darker Feel uh, Musically and lyrically So I thought with the background vocals here, these ad-libs, that would have a little bit of a different type of echo on there. Um, instead of that slight slap, we would have something with an echo and make it sound a little bit darker to go along with the overall theme. So, got that pushed up quite a bit. And here we go with the... Valhalla delay here. We've got tape and these are the settings. A little bit of a ping pong action going on. We'll see what that sounds like when it comes in. You been left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. I can only see that you were meant for me. Had to lose everything to get what I need. Should have closed that door a long time ago. Another lesson. But left me anyway Then put thoughts in my head Then you were meant for me Get what I need So it's adding a little bit of movement in there uh, A little bit of ear candy And also just giving it a little bit of a haunting effect And if you notice You can hear these sounds That's because in this vocal, I guess maybe the producer edited out the parts in between the vocal. And when they did that, they left in these breathing. But it will be okay. So this one but it will be okay. doesn't have it. But this one didn't get cut out. So, word that you say that is him taking a breath before the next line. So we can go in and either pull those down. Word that you say. Also here. But left me anyway. So that's just a little trick that you can do, um, especially if you get something that's been edited uh, incorrectly. Because what it's doing, the reason that it sounds so cut off is because he deleted everything in between there when it should have been either here, if he didn't want the, uh, the breaths in there. But instead of cutting them completely out, I'm just going to like pull them down a little bit. This is one thing that I do like about Pro Tools. That you can just select and pull down the gain. I hope Luna gets that feature sometime in the future. Instead of actually editing the piece to pull down the gain. But anyways, that's what that is. So... We can listen to that again with the effects and without. But it will be okay. Word that you say. 
So we're getting a little bit of movement there, a little bit of hauntingness that goes along with the song. And here is what it sounds like with all the tracks. Feelings, but it will be okay. Never even listen to a word that you say. Said you wouldn't leave me, but left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. I can only see that you were meant for me. Had to lose everything to get what I need. Should have closed that door a long time ago. Another lesson learned, I'll leave you alone. If you wanted to get creative, I did have a throw in here. That's something that uh, you think that your client would like, the artist would like. Then you can do a couple of little interesting things here. But all this is set up on the template. If you did get that, downloaded it, and put it into your session, I've got, I've got all kinds of different uh, effects set up there. I'll leave a link to that in the description below or also have it floating around up here. So now let's take a look at the stereo bus. Now this is everything that's usually on my mixing template all set and ready to go. We've got uh, the Waves NLS bus here. I love this. Um, if I'm not mixing in Luna, this has to go on. And I just felt like this was something modern, that this sounded best with the SSL emulation here. Got a little bit of drive going. Next, just some, some more warmth, some more tone, and just a little bitty boost on the low end and on the high matching each other. We've got some filtering going on all the way up to 38 here and a little bit of air at 18 on the high end. Now this song got a little muffled and I think one of the practices that you'll need to do the most in this style of mixing with vocal and two track is mid side processing and this is a pretty good plug-in for that. I have the mono maker on all the way up to 100 hertz so that we're trying to make everything below 100 hertz mono. Now on our mono section here, it's just things were getting a little bit woofy and I wanted to pull out some of that stuff. So I'll let you hear what that sounds like. You wouldn't leave me but left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. I can only see that's about it on the mono section there. Over here in stereo, here's some of the frequencies that needed to go. Said you wouldn't leave me, but left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. I can know. Get what I need. Should have closed that door a long time ago. Another lesson learned. I'll leave you alone. And then I am taking off the sides at 20k. Feelings, but it will be okay. They said you wouldn't leave me, but left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. I can only see that you were meant for me. Had to lose everything to get what I need. Should have closed that door a long time ago. And so once we cleared things up, wanted to add a little bit more air back in there. And I always do that with this plugin. I just love it. This is the pretty much the only thing that I'm using it for. But there's just something really cool about it. Feelings, but it will be okay. Never even listen to a word that you say. Said you wouldn't leave me, but left me anyway. It just makes things sound a little bit more present. And then, of course, our bus compressor here. Feelings, but it will be okay. Never even listen to a word that you say. Said you wouldn't leave me, but left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. I Pretty self-explanatory, but these are the settings that I like to use. And just, we're just polishing everything. We're just, you're, you're basically, you're hugging it, but you're, you're polishing. You're just molding it in to that finished product that we're used to hearing. And of course, you know me, I gotta throw some tape on something. So here's what we got going on. This one just sounded the best. You just 
you know, go through a couple of these settings. I like to tweak the bias just a little bit to see where it opens up the most. And this is what I come up with. Feelings, but it will be okay. Never even listen to a word that you say. Said you wouldn't leave me, but left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. I can only see that you were meant for me. Had to lose everything to get what I need. Should have closed that door a long time ago. Another lesson learned, I'll leave you alone. Doing a lot, actually. Um, there's some compression going on there. It's just, it's just making it sound like what we're used to hearing on the radio. And lastly, we have our limiter. Um, bringing up a little bit of the gain and probably not doing much reduction here. But let's take a listen. And I've also got the little bit of the enhanced curve here. Just kind of fills things out a little bit better. Feelings, but it will be okay. Never even listen to a word that you say. Said you wouldn't leave me, but left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. I can only see that you were meant for me. Had to lose everything to get what I need. Should have closed that door a long time ago. Another lesson learned, I'll leave you alone. So yeah, so just taking a little bit of the, just a little bit of the peaks. And that's all I want to do, really. Uh, I've got my level set. Uh, what are we at here? We can check that. Feelings, but it will be okay. Never even listen to a word that you say. Said you wouldn't leave me, but left me anyway. I'm good with that. Um, you know, there's this whole thing about minus 14 LUFS and streaming. I don't necessarily believe that. And yell at me if you want. But I have released songs at that recommended amount. And they're not competitive with the rest of the things that are coming out on major labels. So I don't know if that's something that got pushed towards the independent realm of what we're doing. Um, cause no, obviously I do not work for a major label and major labels are not contacting me. And if you're watching this video, I'm assuming they're not contacting you yet. So why would they be pushing us to put out, uh, lower volume mixes and masters? So, you know, I'm not playing that game. I just go with what I'm hearing as far as the music that I listen to and the ones that I know that are released commercially. So the whole minus 14 LUFS, I, I don't play it. Uh, so, you know, the minus 12, I think is a pretty good thing. As it's at least where I start. I won't go anywhere over nine. Um, and usually nine is where I'm going to be at with, uh, CDs. So, that's why that is not at minus 14. Also, I like to, to check the tonal balance here. I've got this set to hip hop. Feelings, but it will be okay. Never even listen to a word that you say. Said you wouldn't leave me, but left me anyway. Told me all your lies and put thoughts in my head. So as far as our balance is going, looks pretty good. All right, y'all, that's it. That's how I mix vocals to a two track. Hopefully you'll get some stems or even better, all the multi-tracks. But I just wanted to show you how you could mix this style of music and also incorporate into the mix template. Hopefully you've downloaded this one already, but if you haven't, there is a link in the description. This is the 2021 mixing template. It's the only one you'll ever need. I promise you the parallel processing is the main focus of this. And once you merge your multi-tracks in with this template, you're going to have something really great to go with. It's not going to be this process where you put 
plugins on every single open insert that you have. So this keeps it nice and simple, but also making it sound great and commercial. It's also going to help build your clients. If you need multi tracks to help build a portfolio to gain more clients, I've also got a mixing course that you can find in the description as well. All of these uh, templates and courses are on my website at fairairmusic.com. So go over there, get you some downloaded a little bit something to mention the summer sale price on the course is going to go away in a couple of days so if you're just now watching this video check that hopefully the sale's still up if you are watching this now go get it because it will go back up to the regular price all right thanks so much for watching y'all if you did find something helpful from this video please consider giving it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This helps me create more content to bring to you and I do plan on doing that. We're going to have way more stuff. We're going to have more downloads. We're going to have more free stuff. So get involved, subscribe so you won't miss out on any of it. All right. Thanks for watching y'all. We'll talk soon.